this is a little tutorial for especially for the improvers class at Bristol Folk House uh, the autumn 2016 woo now what I want to show you are the chords and the way you do let it be by the Beatles wonderful tune lots of chords ish once you've done before but I just want to show you how it's done and make it less scary as well as some of the bits that might be difficult that you can play around with okay these are the chords which I've shown you previously. The C chord with the ring finger like this. The F chord. The G chord like this. The A minor chord with just the one finger up here like this. Now, uh, let's think what else. The E minor we've looked at previously, where you've got your pointy finger on the second fret of the G A string, your middle finger on the third fret of the C, the E string, and on the C string, you have your ring finger on the fourth fret. And we also have a D minor, which we might not have seen, we may not have seen before, which is simple. It's a bit like the F chord with an extra finger underneath. I'll show you. So pointy finger behind the first fret of the uh, the E string on the first fret. The middle finger on the second fret of the G string right at the top. And the ring finger on the second fret of the C string, which is second from top. And you get this sound. And finally a chord we haven't done before and we don't have to do because it can take some time as a B flat and it's one of those bar chords where one of your fingers holds down more than one string so you put your pointy finger and hold down the E string and the A string so the two bottom ones with your pointy finger you put your middle finger behind the second fret of the C string and you put your ring finger on the third fret of the G string and you get this sound. This will take some time, just because it does for a lot of people. Sometimes you might get a kind of sound or... Don't worry, just keep playing with it. Um, or just miss it out for the time being. But don't run away from it. It's always available. It's always possible. Okay, um, and this is how the song goes. Uh, I'll just show you the verse and the chorus. One, two, three. When I find myself in times of trouble, Mother Mary comes to me, speaking words of wisdom, let it be. And in my hour of darkness, she is standing right in front of me, speaking words of wisdom, let it be. So that's it really, there's a lot of quick changes, the, I just play around with it, C, D minor, C, D minor, C, a bit like C, F, C, F, but with that ring finger there, again it's going to take some time, or it might be immediate, but don't panic if it's not working out immediately. Now the bridge and the endings, they're a little different because it does involve that B flat with the barring uh, holding down the two strings there. Now this is what it's supposed to sound like. Yes, not the most straightforward. But it's one of those what I call a homework project. It's not something you do a lot at home, but something you mess around with, something you play around in, and eventually it comes through. Um, we have those kind of pieces of music at home, no matter how uh, experienced you are, but you have that piece of music you've been playing around with and so on. It, like the crazy G. It's gonna happen. It's gonna happen. Just keep playing, keep playing. 